Hello. I'd like to introduce you to the Super Troll 1 LE or ST1 LE. This unit is a basic rate totalizer, but it also has batching functions. This versatile instrument is highly configured through the menus for a variety of applications. It's also available in a variety of enclosure styles and operating voltages. The two-line LCD display can be used to display such items as a batch quantity as well as the total amount that's been batched so far. As in rate totalizer applications, it can be used to display the flow rate on one line and the total on another line. This two-line display feature is very desirable. The two-line display can be either a backlit LCD, as we're seeing in this presentation, or a vacuum fluorescent display, which has brilliant blue digits. The units of measure in this model that you wish to display in can be configured in the instrument. For example, when used with a Coriolis meter, it may be reading out in units of mass, such as pounds. In this application, the display will show you rate, indicating the quantity, and then the units of measure in pounds. The time base is chosen in either seconds, minutes, hours, or days in another menu. The menu configuration on this for pulse inputs is highly configurable. The unit can be set up at a low trigger level to work directly with magnetic pickups from turbine meters or positive displacement flow meters. Pull up or pull down resistors can be selected for use with contact closure style inputs. Quadrature signals are also supported. The outputs in this model come standard and include an isolated 4 to 20 output, a scaled pulse output in the form of a photo MOS relay. We also offer, as standard, two relays that can be configured as either valve control or alarm relays. There is a DC output that can be configured to be either 5, 12, or 24 volts for powering your transmitters of various types. There are also three user-configurable control inputs. These may be used as remote start, stop, or perhaps totalizer reset. There is also a standard RS-232 port. This is very commonly used with printing to a local printer some form of a transaction document. The transaction documents can have a five-line print header listing your company information and perhaps the product to be filled. It also can include the time, the date, the total, and grand total, as well as uh, a means to set up the length of the form. Within the unit, there's an internal data logger that will keep a record of the 500 most recent transactions. On the instrument itself, you'll notice there's a variety of direct access keys. These can be used for such functions as start and stop, to display the rate, display the total, to change set points, and the keys also have a upper defined function as well as a lower numeric value. Numeric entries are done by pressing clear the number and then enter. When you're looking at other function keys such as reset or clear, these will be active when you're displaying an item such as total when you want to reset it. It'll begin a sequence that can be used to reset the regular totalizer. There's also a grand totalizer that is effectively non-resettable since it requires a supervisor level of password to access it. There are also menu keys in order to gain access to the setup mode. In normal operation, an array totalizer, someone would be mostly interested in just displaying information. In a batching application, there may be a need to enter in a set point between batches. This model has a quick batching sequence where you can press the preset key, enter the number of quantity required, and start. This fast batching sequence is very desirable in most applications. 
This completes our basic introduction to the features on the Super Troll 1L8.